by formed by Australia, it is the biggest um, country there. And it also has some islands like New Zealand, New Caledonia, Fiji, and Papua Nova New Guinea. Also the Solomon Islands and the, the actually the name of Oceania comes from the Pacific Ocean that is around the islands. Um, Oceania can be divided into three island groups, continental islands, high islands and low islands. First we're going to talk about the continental islands. Um, they were once attached to continents yeah, to continents before sea level changes and tectonic activity is isolated. Uh, Australia, Zealandia and New Guinea are continental islands. These three regions share some physical features. Um, here we see photos of different environments of um, continental islands. For example, this one, this is the southern islands in New Zealand, the Great Divided Range in Australia, um, a volcanic plateau in New Zealand, and the New Guinea High Islands in Papua <coughs> New Guinea. Continental islands, each of these regions has distinct physical features that resulted from different environmental processes as we see before in the in the pictures. Australia's landscape is dominated by the outback, a region a region of deserts and semi-arid land. The outback is a result of the continent's large inland plains and location along the dry tropic of Capricorn and, and its proximity to cool dry southerly winds. Um, Nice. Now we're going to talk about the high islands. Um, they are created as volcanic eruptions build up land over time. These eruptions begin on the water but the magma is cooled and hardened by the ocean. Over time, this activity creates islands with a steep central peak. Bridges and valleys radiate outward from the peak toward the coastline. The island region of Melanesia contains many high islands because it's a major part of the Ring of Fire. A string of volcanoes are around the border of the Pacific Ocean. This is the part of the Ring of Fire and the different volcanoes that make the, the, the figure of the, of the ring. Now we're going to talk about the low islands. Um, they are made of the skeletons and living bodies of small marine animals called corals. Sometimes these islands barely reach above sea level. Low islands often take the shape of a regular ring of very small islands called an atoll surrounding a lagoon. An atoll forms when a coral reef builds up around a volcanic island, then the volcanic island erodes away, leaving a lagoon. Atolls are defined as one island, even though they are made out up of multiple communities of coral. Um, now, now talking about the flora fauna. The evolution of flora and fauna across the islands of Australia and Oceania is unique. Um, many plants and animals reached the islands from southern Asia during the last glacial period. Incredibly high number of endemic species and the endemic species and species that is only um, in this region is not in, present in any other part of the world. Um, plants travel between islands variety in wind or ocean currents. Important flowering plants native to Australia and Jacaranda, Hibiscus, Bautua, and Kuwait. Um, birds are very common in Australia and Oceania because they are the only ones that can fly these, um, these, these distances to move from island to island. More than 110 endemic bird species, including many seabirds, many flightless -like birds. Such as Emus, Kiwis, Kawasaki's, Wipas, and Takaes are native to Australia, Papua New Guinea, and New Zealand. Um, lizards and bats make up the majority of land animals, and there are more than 100 different species of fruit bats. Um, Australia and Oceania is the only place in the world that is home to Nomothemis, the are the animals that are mammals that lay eggs. Um, all monotones are native to Australia and Papua New Guinea. That's for a platypus, um, they say a monotonous, that is a mammal that can put eggs. And um, also many of the most animals 
southern half of Australia and the islands of New Zealand. This realm is one of the world's richest areas of seabirds. It's cold, nutrient rich, water supports a diversity of plants and fish that seabirds feed on. Um, these are one kind of species that lives there. It's called a rockhopper penguin. Then the Centralian Pacific realm includes the seas surrounding the northern half of Australia, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Bonatsu, New Caledonia, Fiji, and Tonga. This marine realm has the greatest diversity of tropical coral in the world and includes the world's two largest coral formations, Australia's Great Barrier Reef and the New Caledonia Barrier Reef. That's the Great Barrier Reef, which you can see up here on the corals and things we're talking about. <clears throat> and the last one, the Eastern and Pacific realm, surrounds the tropical islands of the Central Pacific Ocean, extending from the Marshall Islands through Central and Sudeastern Polynesia. Like the Central and the Pacific realm, this realm is also known for its tropical coral formations. A variety of whale, tortoise, and fish species also inhabit this realm. Okay, to continue with the presentation, uh, in this case we are going to talk about the geopolitical framework. In this case we want to make a, a summary about the, the, the situation. And we can call that we can call in this situation a lot for sharing the changes and uh, boundaries. In this case the main the main aspect that we are going to analyze is roles that uh, to independence and then uh, Australia and in this case Australia, Australia and New Zealand probably creating their on their own uh, identity, identity. Then the New Zealand brought uh, these ties with Great uh, Britain in 1947, and then Australia retains ties to Great Britain. Uh, to continue, US turned over most of the its Micronesian the territories to local government, but is still influential. This means the, um, in this case Australia is giving some uh, influential uh, uh, from the US. To continue, some of the political states of the region are currently independent and some remain colonies. So, uh, to make a summary about this, this, this situation, we can, uh, we can say that some microstates retain special political and economic ties with Western countries. Uh, then to continue, uh, we are we're going to analyze the, the, the same the thing about the persistent geopolitical tensions. Uh, this is a current situation about Australia. And then nature um, rights in Australia and the New Zealand. We can, we can see that indigenous people in both Australia and New Zealand have used the political process to gain more control over um, land resources and they took conscious disease about the, uh, the, own, the, the own control in these in this countries. And then, Nature's um, title bill in 1993 uh, compensated for uh, already sick lands, gave them the right to gain a title to unclaim lands, and then, and then they still occupied and legally in the title, then in the light and deadlines, with mining companies. This is, this is about the, uh, the mining companies that, that comes to, to this um, to this home. And then uh, they, they try to na nature uh, settle areas. To continue, in New Zealand, the, the merger got a call uh, to return the country to its native. This is called um, Aotearoa. That, uh, which means land of the white cloud. Um. Hi, I want to talk about the history and view of Australia and Australia. First, uh, let's go to divide the region in four zones. Uh, the first, Melanesia, that includes the independent nations of Papua New Guinea, Fiji, Vanuatu, Solomon Island, and the island of New Caledonia. Second, we have two, Micronesia, that it has Palau, third state of Micronesia, Marshall Island, Nauru, Kiribati, Guam, Wake, and Northern Mariana Island. Uh, next, we have two, the Polynesia, that it has uh, Samoa, Tonga, Tuvalu, Cook Island, and Yue, Chokelo, French, Polynesia, and 
goddess of Fortuna. And finally, we have today a splash that it has Australia, Melanesia, and New Zealand. Uh, the history is divided in four areas. Uh, the first is the Polynesian theory, that it says that the origin of the first kingdoms of Polynesia is located in the Malay archipelago and cultivated in Taiwan. Their ancestors are related to the ancient Lapira people and were very skilled extinct culture in Semanchi, migration and worrying ceramics. Uh, between uh, 1000 and uh, 1500, the Tongan Empire on the group was of Polynesia, who was a major player in the development of the next generation. The Micronesian theory says that several regions of Micronesia is of no prehistory. Uh, Pompeii is known that if they had social systems which were led by the nicest of rules, well, for example, Southern Europe and Isukel. And finally, uh, between 4000 and 2000, the Northern the Mariana Island were colonized by a culture from Suez, Asian, now Chamorro. The Melanesian theory states that the original inhabitants in the island group, now called Melanesia, were like an ancestor of Nervous Towns. And the Christian and Polynesian have a lot of genetic relation to the nation. Yeah. Finally, the Australian theory says that the first Australian were the ancestors of Australian origins today. <coughs> of these people were hunters and gardeners. They own the spiritual values based on the worship of the earth and the belief of the same time. That's uh, to continue, we have to explain some of uh, the history of the Europeans in the zones. Uh, Oceania was first proved by Europeans from the 16th century upwards, and the first Europeans to visit the Oceania in Australia were the Portuguese navigators between 1512 and 1526, reached to Moluccas, Timor, the Aru Island, the Tanwar Island. Papua Guinea, West, and some of the Caroline Island. Uh, 1527 to 1595, a number of major Spanish expeditions crossed the Pacific Ocean, which led to the discovery of the Marshall Island. Palu in North Pacific and Tuvalu, the Marquesas, Southern Island, the Cook Island, and the Amelian Island in the South Pacific. Our Tasman, a Dutch navigator, was the first European explorer to reach the island of Van Diemen, now Tasmania, New Zealand, and to visit Fiji in 1643. And the, the James Cook, who was the most important navigator to see the vessel, uh, he made two trips within a, three, a period of ten years. Uh, on the work on the first trip, Lansdow died Tahiti, New Zealand, uh, the Gulf of New Holland, and Australia and Tasmania. The Esther Island of the Marquez, the New Hebrides, New Caledonia, where Terry's explorer Martin Cook on the second trip. In the third, Cook trip, uh, trip uh, and his crew explored the Tonon Island and the Hawaiian Island. And finally, uh, James Cook discovered very actually free and minor. His death is the geographic contribution revolutionary the scenes and earned him the consideration of being the largest British explorer history. And to conclude, uh, we have to sum the, of the most important moments in the ceremony and colonization of Australia and Oceania. Uh, for example, in 1840, the New Zealand is born, and uh, in 1851, a, a victory is found. Um, there are a lot of very important moments. Yes, well, now we're going to talk about the cultural review. Um, Portola groups and practices focus on united peoples and consolidating power in the face of their isolated locations and small populations. Papua New Guinea demonstrates this cultural unification at the national level. The country is only one of the most diverse in the world, with more than 700 indigenous groups and 850 indigenous languages. Indigenous groups are explicitly recognized as viable units of Papua New Guinea society within the nation's constitution. Um, cultural practices, especially in sports and the arts, aim to unite Australian Oceanians, isolated peoples, and 
the regional level. Rugby League is a national sport of Papua New Guinea. Rugby Union, which has fewer players and slightly different rules than Rugby League, is a national sport, a sport of New Zealand, Samoa, Fiji, and Tonga. Australia and New Zealand have, have world famous teams in, in both Rugby League and Rugby Union. Australia has won the Rugby League World Cup a record nine times. Um, the Festival of Pacific Arts, hosted every four years in a different country of Oceania, encourages diverse expressions of Pacific white culture, focusing on traditional song and dance. More than 2,000 participants in this, in this festival, more than 27 countries, and each festival is centered on a specific theme. Okay, in this case, we are going to analyze the social and economic development. Uh, in this case, we, we want to uh, make analysis of this situation and, and we, defi uh, we define in this, in this case a uh, hard path of, uh, to paradise. Okay? In terms of development, uh, Australia and New Zealand are grouped in the other Western nations. Uh, in, in, this, in this specific case, Australia and the past economic wealth was made possible by the chip extraction and export, and export of abundant raw materials. Mining has grown since 1970, and then Australia has support of it, uh, agriculture in this case, concerned with the manufacturing sector, new, uh, new policies, encourage in investment, higher savings, and more, um, more rapid economic growth. And in this case, to analyze the situation, uh, we, we can say that the expanding tourist industry, present ge ge the geopolitical tensions, and then most well concentrated in the cities. In the next one, and in this case, we are going to talk about the conflicts in the Oceania. Uh, there are three principal uh, conflicts in the current situation, uh, uh, which are ethnic tensions between the Fians and South Asians. And the second one, tribal uh, skirmishes uh, among people in Papua New Guinea, and then local opposition to French rule in the New Cal Caledonia. The next one, uh, we are going to talk about the, the, the regional and global identity. So then, in this case, Australians and the New Zealand size, wealth and political cloud, and then, then the religion made, made in, uh, a religion, political leaders. In this case, to analyze this, this situation, um, there are three the most important aspects about this situation, which are often involved in the negotiating peace settlements in the region, Australia, New Zealand, and the U.S. A strategic, a strategic alliance that is called ANSUS, and then Association of Soviet Asian Nations Regional Forum, which are ARF. In this case, uh, the Australian and the New Zealand economies, to make an analysis of all this situation, we can say the economic impact of mining. Uh, New Caledonia and Nauru have nickel for state, and in this case, the consequence of these materials are both uh, environmental degradation results. And the, the specific case of micronation and pollination economies. As, uh, this is basically a sub, a substance by farming foreign aid, Japan spaceport, which uh, is called Christmas Island, and then tourist, uh, the tourism is important in Hawaii, and uh, in the, the, this case, in the same case, uh, French pollination uh, and one, which this one is part of um, the US. And to make analysis of, of this situation, the global economic settings, we want to ask uh, um, will future trade partners achieve from North America and Europe more toward Asia? Well, the answer of this situation is Australia and New Zealand dominate global trade partners in the, in the region. Then both Australia and the New Zealand participate in the Asian Pacific Economic Cooperation Group, which is called APEC. Uh, 